RailClone 3 introduced macros, a new feature that allows you to collapse graphs into a single node. Macros allow you to approach creating RailClone objects in a new way. The existing operators become the fundamental elements that are combined in a subgraph to create completely new functions. These are much easier to understand and reuse. For example, this macro creates a brick wall pattern. If I right click on it and select Edit Macro, we can see the subgraph in a new tab. It's quite busy, but for everyday use, you only need to see this simplified macro node. The nuts and bolts of the graph are hidden from view. Just like normal nodes, macros can have inputs for base objects like splines, surfaces and segments. In this example, I'm adding a path and some bricks to the macro. It's really no different from using a normal generator, except this one has a specific function to create a running bond brick wall pattern. Macros can also have parameters that are accessed from the properties panel. This allows you to add user editable settings to your macros, making them even easier to use without needing to understand the complex graph. To make them even more accessible, they can even be exported so that you can wire them to other operators or attach numeric nodes so that the properties can be edited directly from the modify panel. In the next series of tips, we'll take a look at how to create these macros from scratch, but to get started, we recommend taking a look at the many samples that ship with RailClone 3. Just click on the Macros tab to see them all. To find out more information about a macros function and how it can be used, hover your mouse over its name to see a summary, or drag it to the construction view and click on the Help button in the Properties panel to see the full description.